Hello there, beautiful soul. Yes, you. I think we can all agree upon the fact that chronic fatigue syndrome is caused by a dysregulation of the autonomic nervous system. And that is because of an excessive amount of stress. And stress is uh, the sympathetic mode from the nervous system, uh, also called the fight or flight mechanism. And the opposite of that is the rest and digest uh, side of the nervous system. So the question is, when you have long-term chronic fatigue syndrome, what is activating the stress? What is activating the fight or flight mechanism of the nervous system? And we call it uh, that way in a simple uh, analogy because stress, the sympathetic nervous system, is sort of resisting something. It is fighting, it is flight, and it is height. And in nature, this was very useful. And we use this to prevent ourselves from predators or uh, from uh, a raid from a neighboring village every once in a while. And we were all on high alert. We were all in stress. And, you know, this, this stress mechanism is actually really good for the human being because it can help us survive. It's a survival mode. So what is the cause of your chronic stress? What is doing that? Because I don't see people in the world with tigers. And so what is it? And I think that is the reality. The hardest pill we have to swallow that you are activating the fight or flight mechanism because of you. And whatever you are resisting from yourself could be very simple, but could also be very complex. Some simple things, and this is really not everything, is your current situation, your symptoms, your self-image, your beliefs, or your rushing. So it's the present moment, the process that you're living in. And these are only a few things that you could be resisting from yourselves. And it could also be very complex. And I've talked about it in uh, the movie with the 12-step circle of uh, holistic health and disease, where you create out of thoughts a personality, a very complex with beliefs, and you go into experiences, and the experiences will give you emotions, and you resist the emotions, and you get symptoms, and you cope with that and then you identify with the coping mechanisms and then all of the things are in the unconscious and you don't really feel it anymore and it goes automatic and then we can say just like Joe Dispenza did the body has become the mind as soon as something happens you feel for example the urge to let's say binge eating or drinking or distract yourself so in general we could say that there are that there are only two types of energies in this world and they correlate with the nervous system. On one side, the sympathetic, the fight or flight mechanism of the nervous system. And on the other side, the rest and digest or the parasympathetic nervous system. Resistance, allowing. Upstream, downstream. So if you'd like to find out more about this and how this works for you in your particular situation, you can always book, for me, book me for a coaching session and we can try to really go to the roots of the self-resisting behavior. And if that's not really your moment right now, then just try to, to let it sink into your subconscious mind. Really think about it and rest with it and just plant an idea in there. What am I resisting? Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Visit my website. Uh, you can make a donation there. You can also follow uh, a free recovery program that is completely based on donations for me and where I will give you lots of tools and a step-by-step -step plan to deal with your fatigue and to improve. It's called the Alignment Recovery Program. Maybe it is something for you. Just check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.